with Mr. Shukri Tofi, co-founder of The Fort, filmmaker, director. Of course, we're talking to Shukri this afternoon about an amazing piece of work that is just cleaning up on the International Awards Arena, most recently winning the 2016 Amsterdam Film Festival and Hollywood International Independent Documentary Award. Uh, there are so many other awards as well. Good afternoon, Shukri. How are you? Hey, Sugar. How are you? I'm fabulous, thank you. Good to speak to you. Yeah, it's good. Hello, Cape Town. I'm uh, I'm in D.C. at the moment. So I was in L.A. for the awards. And now I'm in D.C. And it's actually, I'm just, it's like 12 o'clock in the, in the day, right? So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost 6 p.m. Uh, Cape Town side. We're having a beautiful day. So it's great to speak to you in Washington, D.C. The reason why we, we decided to call you up to celebrate you a little bit is to talk about this amazing piece of work. It's called Unwritten, A Visual Journey of Nepal. This is apparently, it's just so, amazing and so moving and so powerful tell us about the journey Shukri where did it all start for you oh my the journey for me started in Cape Town as a as a Cape Townian um, and this particular project I think started off as you know being a company that uh, does you know creative and advertising and film and production for clients we really wanted to do something for ourselves and just as an artistic sort of expression um, and we love traveling and we were really interested in just sort of trying to unlock some old world wisdom from a country like Nepal that had never been colonized before and really sort of just as people as, as we had heard people said it was like a museum without walls um, and so that's where it started and we went out to shoot this documentary of um, Nepal in the Kathmandu Valley and we were, yeah, we were just absolutely blown away by the warmth of the people mm. and just everything that we learned and I think it came together beautifully in a very, very beautiful art piece that um, that people are starting to appreciate all over the world. Well, well, you know, I, I guess it really started uh, way back in the day when you were driving a, a taxi when you were studying. Um, and I just loved what you had to say about, you know, working um, all of those long hours and driving staff home from, from them working really, really hard hours and long hours. And it taught you so much about hard work and I guess how much we have when we don't appreciate it when there are others that are, you know, working so much harder just to scrape by in life. Um, was that also part of this journey of self-discovery about learning these kind of old world secrets to living a happy life? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think, as you rightly say, we started, I started keeping a journal um, from the time I was sort of left high school. Um, and, and one of my jobs to pay back my student loans was driving staff home at night and being a a cab driver and driving people to the airport and back and um, and you so I just learned a lot about the world um, and sort of I always said that I sort of like I felt like I traveled the world through driving all these different people yes. both sort of people who are working for, at hotels and also um, people from all over the world and that's really where it started my sort of fascination started with keeping a journal and sort of un trying to unlock the sort of like wisdom from everyday people because I thought it's a very cold sterile writing of like the same business books and the same people that tell you how to be successful and how to run a business just didn't resonate with me and I always found that the interactions with everyday people were so much more meaningful mm. um, and so that's really where it came from and I, I think was a big driving force in the way that we run our business you know, we employ um, 40 people in South Africa, um, and it's really that sort of like the, the, that every, everyone's voice counts within our organization that has like kind of made us grow over the last almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then this, this project is really the sort of coming together of that to say, how do we visually depict um, the beauty of sort of unlocking wisdom from everyday people in a, in a very fascinating land like Nepal. Uh, Shukri, at the premiere of the short film, and this is, uh, I believe, a quote from you, you said, there are two certainties in life. We all live, we all die. We have no control over how we die, but we do, however, have control over how we live without giving too much away because I'm sure you want people to go and see this very emotional, uh, emotive and powerful piece. But what, was, what were some of the lessons that you learned while you were there with your very small crew um, experiencing life in the Kathmandu Valley? So many lessons. I mean, I think um, a lot of people are asking me for that. Just a few of those kind of takeaway lessons. I think one of the key ones for me is really to take time to just have that like one last cup of tea. To try and take time to enjoy the sort of, as we say, like the splendor at the foot of the mountain and not be so busy trying to conquer Everest. 
uh, all the time. And I think that's a that's a metaphor for all of our lives is to say that, you know, um, we all want to try and get to the top of the mountain, mm. but take time to sort of enjoy the beauty at the foot of the mountain as well. Oh, so wow. that, that's really for me one the key, the key takeaway that I think people will take out of it after watching it. Okay. All right. Shukri, what's next for you? Are you going to be undertaking another soul-searching, life-changing expedition? Hopefully, are we going to see another short film coming out of that? Hopefully, yeah. We um, It's been very inspiring, I think, for us. We went into it just to sort of do something fun and, and as to, to create a, a really beautiful art piece. And it's been more than we could have thought of. Um, and, um, and I think the reception has been really amazing. So, uh, yeah, watch the space for details. We'll Love see what, what's next. Lovely stuff. You can check out the Fort. They've got a Facebook page. You can check out all of the amazing work that they do there. You can find out more uh, about Shukri Tofi and, of course, the Rainmaker Journal is also part of, of what he does. Incredibly creative young person. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. We wish you everything of the best. Thanks so much. Drive 326, weekdays, 3 to 6.